waiting for a month for all this stuff to finally come. Now I finally get to open it. Now that we got heavier weights, I just hope my dumbass doesn't bite off more than I can chew and I don't pull my back again like I did a few years ago with deadlifts. But I, at least I can get stronger now. If I get stronger, I can get bigger. I don't like getting this type of weight plate, the cat brand. I don't like mixing and matching my Olympic plates. Even if they're more expensive, so I get it worth it. So, all these different weight plates I have four of, except for the 45 pound plates. The prices went up big time, like three or four times normal price. And they package this fucker up really good. There's a whole roll of duct tape on this one. What the fuck? Oh yeah, they use a lot of, it's like a fucking stab vest or something. I cannot believe how much duct tape they used on this thing. Alright, I can't. Sometimes you just gotta cut into it like it's a steak. The mailman probably hates me because they're having to deliver all these plates. I like it too because these are the black uh, cat plates. I think they'd look cooler than just the silver. They feel good too, like they're actually not all flayed on the handles. My old ones that I used to have before I sold them were all rugged and shit, even though I'm just manufactured. Which hair my bar below. Another two pair, another pair of twenty fives. They weren't selling them in four pairs, so I had to order two double. Man, these are going to be fun to use. Do not wait. You know, I don't even need them that first one. This one's all banged up. Maybe now I can get some new PRs with weighted pull ups and stuff. Build a nice big back. Alright. Alright, got the last package here. I got some insulation on this one. But it's like dryer length. It's like the inside of a fucking car seat. Huh. I was happy with this delivery. It actually came really early, like 6 in the morning when I was just waking up. And it was already out there. Pretty obvious what this is before I even unwrap it, but <coughs> whoops. Oh shit. Camera's not aiming low enough. Once I get unwrapped it, I'll pick it up. All this 
sell for seven hundred dollars, whereas before the pandemic it would have been probably twice as cheap. But budget. I live to cope with my depression and anxiety. That's my coping mechanism is fitness. So can't really put a price on mental health. I'm actually really happy to have all this stuff. Man, they really got this one wrapped up. What the fuck? This might be a bit of a boring video, but I did say I wanted an unboxing video. I got layers on this bitch. Okay, what is this? Some kind of fucking old carpet or a dress or some shit that got wrapped up? <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Motherfucker. Oh my god, yeah, they do got a layer. Now there's cardboard under the dress of it. Peeled the flesh off and now I gotta peel the bone off it. What the hell is this? I don't know what the molding on it. One thing I'm looking forward to with all this extra weights that I got now is to actually build some decent traps too. So now weight's not a really a limiting factor for me. Before I was stuck just trying to build back with T-bar rows with a little bit of weight and weighted pull-ups. <laughs> Get this fucking dress off my fucking bar, bitch. Get out of here. What the hell? This is the weirdest packaging. I used to go to a gym and work out, but they were kind of scammy and pretty shady. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna work out at home. Oh, this one's taking the longest to unbox. I got it so fucking layered though. There we go. Get all this out of the way. Yep. Uh, hex bar. So a trap bar. So now I can do a uh, different kind of deadlifts and shrugs. So it's actually a bar I've been wanting for a few years and I never got it, but finally got around to buying one. <clears throat> so I'm pretty happy. Alright. Alright, so $750 after unpackaging all of it or unboxing it. This is basically what you get in 2021 with workout equipment. You get a hex bar. Easy curl bar. Olympic. That was a nice metal clang, I like that. Bicep uh, arm blaster, four 10 pound weight plates, four 25 pound weight plates, 145 pound weight plate. That mess right there is just a pulley system, which I kind of needed anyway. Got some uh, ab straps so I can focus on my lower abs more when I do hanging leg raises. And the thing that took the fucking longest to arrive, for T-bar rows, uh, wide grip handles so I can target my back and feel it more instead of being stuck with just uh, that close grip. This one took almost a month to get here. So, yeah. All this stuff here is what you get is what I spent $750 on workout equipment wise. Now I got more options for heavier weight to use when I work out. 
Whereas I was just stuck with that much weight before. Don't even regard those over there. I don't use those anymore. So I don't use standard ship. But yeah, that's about it. Juro Hanma. Front view center is <laughs> smiley. pounds I've never done this 65 pounds extra this leash is so fucking tight squeezing my side so we'll see. Luckily, I'm gonna risk something to paralyze so I'll be okay I'm gonna see if I can do a pull up fuck I got my nose up to whip it out the chin see if I can do a chin up not gonna be able to do it because all it does is help the biceps, not my lats are tired, but we'll see. Hope I don't tear it. Careful. <sighs> you know, <sighs> the one fucking cable pulley that I got, definitely worth 40 bucks. It's going to make me build a big ass horseshoe tricep when we did rear delts. This is like eight sets already, so. I gotta shake, shake them to wake up. I know that's not fat. See? Not their flex, they don't fly up. Do this to wake them up so they recover quicker. But fuck. I wasn't feeling it with the uh, rope handle at first. I thought this little cheap, what I thought was shitty handle would. I was never going to use for anything, but it actually feels amazing to use for uh, extensions, so 
First thing I'm going to rep out with stuff, I'm going to rep that out with the rope, review the video and see the contraction, how much it contracts, rest a few seconds and switch it up for that short handle that I thought I was going to hate, but I actually love that thing. So here we go, keep in mind, this is like eight, maybe even nine sets in, I don't fuck around with my head arms, so... Yeah, I'm not going to really get too many reps. I'm going to see if I can go for 12. I like going for a thumbless grip, too. There's better my muscle connection for me. Okay, should we go? Like, I don't actually feel it too much. Maybe the weight's too heavy. I don't know, but... Once I switch to the short bar, then I definitely feel it. And then when I switch back to the rope, then I feel it. But just starting with the rope, you don't, I don't really feel it contract much. Maybe I'm using too much weight or bad form, but we'll see. I'll only get better from here. It's an uphill battle. I'm definitely happy that I bought this fucking $40 pulley, though. Definitely worth it. I actually feel be similar to the expensive thousands of dollar cable machine, even though it's a plate loaded one. I was skeptical about it, but it feels pretty good. It doesn't feel like some cheap Walmart bench that comes with a lap pull down. This one feels a lot more sturdy. I just wish I knew how much weight it could handle though. And it's that's it's only a high pulley. I can't make it lower. Fatigued out, I've got to shake him awake again. Bicep chug. Like I said, well, from here on, I'm just only going to get my arms and body are just going to blow up. Now that I have more weights in these. Right. Alright, short handle. I just love all this feels. Even after you're fatigued, you can like rub a few more out. We'll see how much more it contracts. Going like this, a palm pressing down. I'm not even wrap my fingers around it.
Just got done working four arms. Got a hell of a pump going. Look at that vein. Look at damn garden hose. 